video is going to be a whole video on everything that I bought in Bali. Um, all my shopping and just stuff, artwork and stuff for the home. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see the um, Bali vlog video, I will be linking it in the down bar below when it's up. For my little sister, I don't know, I think this might be a bit too big. I'm not sure. Because there's not really... They have sizes and stuff, but yeah. I bought this dress. It's kind of just a tie-dye um, dress. Pretty simple, but it'll be nice because it's um, here in Australia. It's spring, almost summer, and it gets really hot where I live. So this will be <laughs> this will be nice for my little sister to wear. I also got this dress. I did wear this mainly just around the hotels because it's quite low cut. Um, it's kind of flashing everybody not intentionally but um, and the sleeves have these kind of pretty ruffles on it and it goes quite low in the back of the dress as well it is a maxi dress but because I'm quite tall this like there was a fair bit of ankle showing <laughs> which I don't really like with maxi dresses so I might actually cut this and make it just like a summer dress for when it gets hot over here um, which is this on the, on the top, like it is a jumpsuit, but it kind of makes me look like a genie because the legs are so long. <laughs> um, yeah, so I might maybe give that to my sister too. I got this bag. So those of you that follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I'll link those in the down bar below. You would have seen this. I posted this bag that I got. Um, looks like this. It is a Jimmy Choo. <laughs> it's a knockoff, obviously. Um, but it does say... Jimmy Choo here and all on the inside it says Jimmy Choo <laughs> um, but they also had like the pale kind of blue green one which I've actually seen in magazines for Jimmy Choo but I like this one more I came across um, this shop I can't actually find where one of the necklaces went but I've got one of this is the main one that I bought um, looks like this it's obviously all handmade all little wooden um, balls things and it's very um, quite chunky. I love it. Like you guys know, if you watch my channel, how much I love this kind of bright, crazy stuff. Um, the other one I bought is just wood across here with three circle shells. Um, but I don't know where I've put it. It's somewhere. But the two necklaces were fifty thousand rupiah, so it was five dollars, two dollars fifty per necklace, um, which was just awesome. And they were very helpful. They had like. So many. They had all these necklaces in every single colour you could imagine. It was just awesome. I bought some Balinese coffee. Um, this is a real delicacy in Indonesia and it was very expensive and it might sound kind of gross to you. I haven't tasted it, but I bought it for my mum because I said I'd get her some. Um, Luwak coffee. And this was 165,000 rupiah for 50 grams, so $16 just for this little um, thing of coffee. But I'll tell you about it for those of you that don't know. It says, um, Luwak coffee comes from an Indonesian island area, well known for its excellent coffee. Also native to the area is a small civet-like animal called a... Uh, Paradormobul, I can't pronounce that. The locals call them Luwaks. So this is why it's Luwak coffee. These little mammals live in the trees and are one of the favourite food, foods they eat is the ripe red coffee cherry. They eat the red coffee cherries. Um, once it's been through the little guy's stomach, it undergoes a chemical treatment and fermentation. The bean finishes its journey through the digestive system and exits. The still, the still intact bean are collected from the forest floor and then they're cleaned and roasted and grounded. So it says it has a rich heavy flavour with hints of caramel or chocolate. <laughs> um, so this is it here. That's the animal thing there. So basically the animal eats it and poops it out and you've got the coffee bean and they roast it and everything. Um, yeah I haven't tasted it but it's meant to be incredible. Um, so yeah, I bought that for my mum as a present. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to go around for a coffee and drink her coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I also bought, um, we tried there as well, some lemongrass tea, which was to die for. It's absolutely divine. It just tasted so nice. And it's completely pure. It's all handmade, selected, and 
So that was from the, the same company, but that was only 55,000, so this was only five bucks compared to 16, so yeah, it's a bit cheaper. <laughs> also at the coffee plantation, they um, had all of their own organic um, essential oils. So I bought some for my skin sensational videos. I haven't made one for a while, um, but yeah, I bought these. So I've got sandalwood, jasmine, lavender, night, something, and yangling. Yeah. So they will come in handy. I'm excited to use these. Alright, so finished the presents. I bought my little brother some vans, um, or knockoff vans, most likely. Even though they look like real vans. These are it here. His favourite colour is green, so I thought these would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, and they come with like the vans off the wall thing. But yeah, they were really cheap. I think they were like five bucks. This is quite rude, so I'm just warning you guys before I show you. Um, <laughs> I bought him um, a bottle opener. That looks like this. <laughs> I can't wait to see his face. Um, these are absolutely everywhere in Bali. Everywhere you can get massive ones. Um, or just normal ones like this. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and that was like $4, so yeah. <laughs> So the rest of the stuff we bought was just kind of for our house. Um, let me open these. I bought some um, placemats. And these are like all handmade. It takes absolutely forever for them to make it. It's just insane. Um, so they have a little golden tie, which I will just undo. I haven't even opened these yet. Um, so this is the placemat here. And it's just got a black kind of silky back to it yeah so it's very very pretty and there's one two three four five six of these um yeah but this was really cool so we bought this is really quite heavy as well we went to a um place where they make um they do hand painting and um weaving and stuff there and i bought three of their fans and these are just incredible this is the first one. So this is all hand painted and I'll tell you how they paint it. It's actually really awesome how they do all the painting. This is another one. So I'm planning on like putting these in a big picture frame just with a black um, canvas at the back. Just because I thought that would be cool. And this is the last one. So what they actually do, like this is um, cotton. They draw on the cotton the design that they want and then they get wax and they drip the wax over the top. Um, the wax is just, just normal coloured wax. Um, then they finish off the drawing and put wax over the top again. Then they go over it again with coloured wax and it actually the whole thing ends up looking black and they, because it's so pigmented the wax colours that they use. And they do that all individual colours at a time and then they boil it and all the, obviously all the wax falls off and they're left with this. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then they go over the top with um, like the gold glittery stuff, which is really pretty. So all the picture frames are the same, like all this intricate carving. And yeah, they just depict different things in Indonesia. There's one of them is a god. Um, this is the one of the god. And this is the last one. Hope you guys can see that. Sorry for the reflection. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just got those three pictures. Also got some bathers. Um, these are by 69 Slam, apparently. Um, we're out one night and like all the shops are open till like midnight. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to get some bathers. Um, so these are here. That's the top. It's just all green at the back. Um, these were quite expensive. I think they were 25 for the top and 25 for the bottom. So I, I guess it's a lot cheaper than what you'd pay in Australia, but it was still expensive for Bali. And then the bottoms. Yeah. And also, um, when we went into a the big shopping center, I saw Makeup Forever, and I'm like, oh my god, I didn't end up buying anything. Um, another shopping center actually had NYX. And because we can't buy NYX in Australia unless you buy it online. I was like, oh! So I bought um, a, ooh, a cream blush. 
um, and this is in the color glow this is it here and yeah it's just such a gorgeous color and it does give a really nice glow to your skin I've got it on at the moment it's very pretty <laughs> One of the last things I bought, I haven't tried them yet, but I bought them just because I was like, oh my god. Tim Tam, white chocolate Tim Tams. Cheese flavoured Tim Tams. <laughs> they smell really bad. <laughs> this one's all falling apart. Okay. Oh, it smells. <laughs> it's the cheese. It tastes so gross. <laughs> you can see it smells bad. The dogs are here, all around me. I would probably say it's my absolute favourite. Um, we went on a cruise and we went to this little island where people still live. I think there's 1,600 people that live on this island. Um, and they do a lot of hand weaving, like sarongs and things like that. And one sarong takes two weeks to a month to make. It's incredible. They actually um, do it strand by strand. I've, it's just incredible. It would absolutely take forever to do. Um, yeah, so I bought this sarong. It is absolutely gorgeous and really big. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use it as a sarong. I just want to kind of put it on my wall, I think. Um, but this is it here. I'm going to cover my face so you guys can see. But yeah, it's just so intricate and detailed and just absolutely gorgeous um yeah i just love it and this was we didn't like they said we could barter with them and get a cheap price but i didn't want to like they work so hard on this um so the, we paid full price which ended up being 25 dollars, which is pretty much nothing considering that take took like two weeks to a month to make um yeah just, anyway <laughs> so yeah um that's all the stuff that we bought we didn't have any issues, um, for those of you wondering, um, going through customs or anything like that. We obviously just declare everything that you have, which I ticked all the boxes. I had had food with me, like I thought that might have been food. I had shells, sea, um, wood, all that stuff. So yeah, I pretty much had everything with me. And yeah, it was fine. They just looked it over and said, oh yeah, yeah. Obviously the only thing you can't bring back, one of the things is obviously drugs and stuff like that and imitation um weapons lee bought some bb guns of course he bought bb guns and he shot me with one it hurt so much i had like a welt on my back anyway um yeah so obviously he couldn't get those back in we didn't even bother trying to get them back in because you can get a fine and stuff like that so we just like nah um and if you'd been in water or anything the clothes that you wore in the water if they hadn't been washed you had to declare that as well because we went white water rafting we um the shoes that i wore i just showed them to make sure there's no soil and stuff on it and yeah that was fine so hmm, yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this haul and stay tuned for the vlog um all about our holidays including the photos and stuff like that so yeah all right 